Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for the Grown Man Record Night Academy Awards special. We've got a microphone feeding back here. It's just no good. It's just bad business all the way around. So we've got a special guest in the house tonight. My man Steve Jones showed up, brought a bunch of records, brought some stuff to put in goblets that we've been drinking on, and a whole bunch of records, and it's Academy Awards. His wife kicks him out of the house for the evening, and so we come over here and uh, listen to records and uh, enjoy some good old fellowship on the Academy Awards night. Uh, speaking of the Academy Awards, uh, does it, do you know about anybody that was up for an award tonight? I know the movie Pirates was nominated for Best Animation, and it's probably one of the worst movies I saw this year, so I definitely wanted to do something else. I saw some kid movies this year. It's the first time I've been back to the movie theater, even though being a film major. Wreck-It Ralph? Was it really? Wreck-It Ralph. I saw that. I saw the Transylvania movie. I saw, I saw, it's the first time I went, went to the theater in like 10 years this year, so uh, that's been cool. But uh, let's just take a quick peek over here, cameraman. Just follow me over here. Let's see what... I, I, I didn't memorize this shit. I didn't memorize this shit, so let's see what we got going on here. Uh, I, done, I done closed it out. I'll tell you one thing. What we got going on here? Uh, searching for Sugar Man 1. Sh- searching for Sugar Man 1 for a documentary, I believe. Which is supposed to be an awesome movie that's uh, on Netflix, but you can't watch it if you're streaming on Netflix. You have to, you have to get it over the, uh, the, from the... Uh, Disc Maker Universe USA. Bad business. Disc Makers. Uh, Steve also brought over some pantry fried chicken. Now, I've been hearing the jive about this. I, I actually got their website up here. This is uh, it's a little convenience store on Kivett Drive in uh, the uh, Jamestown High Point area. And I've uh, been hearing good things about this, and I grew up around that area. And Steve uh, brought some of this over. Look at this business, man. Oh, Lord have mercy. I didn't know what I was buying, man. I just wanted, like, uh, I said, give me, like, four four legs and four breasts or whatever. And, and it comes like this. It comes like quarters. Mm. Oh, my God. It's good. That's the real deal. That's some of the best uh, store-bought chicken I ever had in my life. So uh, we appreciate Steve bringing that over. That's some good-time business. Um, you know what? Some people won for Oscars. What, what, um, let's see, what, uh. Oscars 2013. Uh, let's see. Uh, and the Oscar goes to some people won. They made some awards. And uh, man, I've ruined this bit. I just ruined this bit. It's an awful bit. I'm sorry. I had a page up and I was going to name like the most weirdest awards. Yeah. Internet's been all squirrely, and we've been we've been doing a bunch of bad things. So, uh, so I ruined the bit. I ruined the bit. So, let's go to records. So, Steve brought a bunch of cool records over, and uh, oh, well, you know, you, you know, before we do that, uh, speaking about the Academy Awards, some people won some movies and some crap I didn't see because I don't like bullshit that people watch in movie theaters. But I got some cool uh, uh, movie records. Sound of Music, man. It's got some stuff on it. Goldfinger 007, original motion picture soundtrack. That's some good shit right there. I've listened to that. Pull that top one off there, guy. What we got? Gone with the Wind. Oh, Lord. I mean, talk about Academy Awards. Uh, Exodus. I'm not familiar with this film. Are you familiar with this film? Yeah. Epic film. So that's a soundtrack. Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. I was going to play that earlier. Maybe we'll play that later. I don't know. I don't know how long we're doing this. Oh, Lord. One Step Beyond. That's got some film music on it. Sounds in Space. That got in there for some reason. I have no, no uh, idea what's going on. But anyhow, Steve brought a big old bunch of records over, so let's check out some of these. Some of these have been classic, classic selections. Stand down uh, if you would. Okay, here we go. This, Here's the tub. This, actually, this is actually where we keep our whites for, for laundry. I dumped it on the floor because I didn't have anything to put them in, but uh, I brought some records. Uh, this is like what you've listened to tonight are pretty much slices of my life. Uh, over the past 20, 25 years. So, not this not this thing right here, though. Whatever. <laughs> no, I mean, see what we're listening to now. This is a soundtrack. This is Tangerine Dream, which we're all big fans of Tangerine Dream. The motion picture soundtrack, Heartbreakers. Now, apparently, Tangerine Dream did, like, 50 bazillion soundtracks. 
Some are better than others. You make good background music. That's fine. Let's, let's, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, uh, you know, so I brought, I didn't know what, you know, so what do you bring me? Like, you have that moment to show your music to the world. And I, I went through and, you know, there's a lot of Beatles. There's a lot of King Crimson. There's a lot of Pink Floyd and other things that I thought were important. You know. But uh, just to show you some of the some of the King Crimson albums, this is the first album, the second album. And the cool thing about King Crimson, it's been Robert Fripp all these years. Uh, but he's, he's mixed it up with other players. You just can't work with a guy too long. He'll probably drive you crazy or whatever. But he's an insanely talented guy. And so I kind of followed their career. And this is one of the bands that I've followed since their beginning. Well, I didn't follow them in 69, but, you yeah. know. You got most of their discography on, on vinyl? Uh, I've got probably, no, no way, no way. There's a lot of stuff out there. Because they still put stuff out, and I quit buying in 86 or whatever. So, you know. But anyway. Yep, yeah, keep it moving. What else we got in here? <laughs> I've got some Pink Floyd records. Uh, Pink Floyd was my favorite band, of course. Uh, and so I've got anything from the first album, which is not here, but the second album. You know, I've got uh, Uma Guma, uh, Adam Hart Mother, which is a great album involving a, a, they're delving into adding like an orchestra. Uh, in keeping with tonight's theme, I was going to play some uh, more, from the, the movie more, Pink Floyd and Obscured by Clouds, which is this one here. That was a French film, right? Obscured by Clouds? Uh, I know more was, I think, French. About a heroin addiction. Obscured by Clouds is probably French as well. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing, but I don't know. Yeah, it was the movie The Valley, which is a French movie. La Valley or whatever. And then, of course, Animals. And a couple of... This is uh, Sid Barrett. They, they gathered some of his stuff he did after he kind of fell apart. And uh, this is one of the albums that uh, was released. It's got some crazy stuff on it and the pros and cons of hitchhiking by Mr. Roger Waters. Oh, no, I had that cassette tape. I got it at some flea market or yard sale somewhere, the pros and cons of hitchhiking. And that's a cool record because, like, for each track, they list, like, you know, 419 in the morning. And then, uh, you know, it's every track is not like 1, 2, 3, 4. It's got an actual time. So it follows a story. Typical Roger Waters, he's telling a story in a big theatrical way. Um, it's a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some other stuff going on down here? What you uh, got? This is, uh, I got a couple Robert Plant albums. I got some other stuff. I, don't, I didn't buy a lot of this stuff later, but these first two albums are really cool. This is uh, The Principle of Moments, which I think has Big Log on it, which is a really killer song. And uh, Pictures at 11. This is kind of his first breakout from Zeppelin, which would lead me to add, you know, we could talk a little bit about Zeppelin. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, okay. So uh, Steve's in this band, see? called Leadneck, and it's the Zeppelin tribute band, and they got some big shows coming up, and we need everybody to come on out. We're actually going to play some live cuts from one of their shows here a little bit later on with a DVD, or actually it's a Blu-ray setup that I've never actually used, so you're going to, we're going to get it on there. We're going to figure it out, so. We apologize in advance if this doesn't work, but we're going to try and make this work. We're going to try and make it work. This will be, be a world premiere. I got this DVD finally working today, like four in the, four in the afternoon, so you're, you're seeing what we're seeing. It's going to be killing yeah, yeah, we'll get it to work, because according if to the... You're in, if you're in the Raleigh area, next Friday night, we're going to be at the Lincoln Theater. We're going to open for a uh, ACDC tribute and a Iron Maiden tribute band called Up the Irons, and you should come. So, Ledneck, Lincoln Theater, that's that March 1st? 1st of March, Lincoln Theater, Raleigh, North Carolina. Start at 9. It's supposed to start at 9 o'clock. So if you're around that area, make the trek, get your ass out there. It's going to be some good stuff. We're going to we're going to DVD, premiere DVD, we're going to premiere DVD, the DVD tonight. DVD. Uh, uh, you know, uh, on paper this would all work out great, um, but we appreciate Steve it dropping worked, by. It worked in the afternoon meeting we had. It worked in the afternoon meeting. I mean, we we planned this all out. Is that record over? Yet? No, it's not. No, no, no. It's not over. It's not over. No, it's not over. Woo. Tangerine Dream just takes a little while getting oh, going. No. So, uh, hey, we appreciate you hanging out for this special Sunday night edition. And uh, forget the Sunday blues. We're going to take the Academy Awards uh, evening and just uh, roll into some cool stuff and enjoy some good fellowship and some fried chicken. And uh, we appreciate you hanging out with us. And uh, we'll uh, catch you this Friday. If you notice this past Friday, we, we dropped some 45s on you. A little unexpected. But that's what we do here. A little unexpected. So, um Keep tuning in to uh, Grown Man Record Night. We're going to come up with some new stuff, some 45 shows, some new guests like Steve going to drop by, some records. I mean, I, I wish we had time for, I mean, these Beatles records we were playing earlier, man. Got Floyd. Hey, hey, show that show that, uh, show that, that bootleg Floyd real quick. Show that bootleg Floyd, man. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? And so, on, stop the show. 
stop the show, start it all over. Look at this. This is a well. I'll let Steve tell you about it. I I, I don't know I, nothing. I bought this I think in Raleigh, and this was like back in '87. I was out of college, and uh, I came across this record, and it's uh, it says Pink Floyd on it, and well, what's better than that? So I bought it. I can't remember how much I paid, but it's this uh, really cool. I don't know if you can see this at home. It's really cool pink vinyl record, and it's a it's a short record. It's got. One, you know, extended jam on the front, which is uh, Interstellar Overdrive. Looks like about a 10-inch. It's a big 10-inch, yes. And then the second side's got a few songs, too. But uh, I haven't found anybody who has something like this. I, I looked to search, and someone in England was selling one for a lot of money. But I, I you know, it's things like this. And, and before I kind of got back into listening to my records, I had, a, I had this record actually hanging up in the window in my basement. So... Uh, <laughs> but it's only it's only been played twice, two or three times. Once I listened to it, once I played it to rip, because I use the audacity and I rip a lot of records. And uh, we're gonna listen to this a little later on. So what's this called? What, what's what's it? I think it's uh, it's a bootleg, and they call it LSD sixty seven. So this is not an actual Floyd release. This is something somebody bootleg from a show or a session or how is this? You know what? How this worked? I don't I don't know how this worked. Okay, well, that, that's why this is a mystery. Hey, drop us a comment down if you know something about this record. Hey, uh, cameraman, get a tight shot of this cover right here. Because, uh, hey, anybody out there that knows anything uh, about this particular Pink Floyd record, looks like it came out in 67 or somewhere in that, or it came out later than that, way later than that. Gotcha, okay. Well, it's, it's a weird record, and we can't find a whole lot about it, but Vinyl Community, hit us up. Uh, so thanks for what hanging. What you know, Jersey? What you know, Jersey? Yeah, maybe Sean0612 in Jersey knows something about this. So hit us up, man. We don't be knowing. And uh, that's all right. It's crazy, man. I got a Flaming Lips record that looks just like that. Um, so anyhow, thanks for hanging out with us here on Grown Man Record Night and on Academy Award of the Oscars special. And uh, we're going to keep jamming some stuff. We're going to premiere that DVD coming up here shortly. So thanks for hanging out with us. And check back with us this Friday for our regular edition of Grown Man Record Night. And uh, 1230. 12, 30. 12, 12, 30. 12, 30. Ledneck at 1230. Ledneck at 1230. We're going to get it going here in a second. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you coming up Friday. Check back in with us. We'll have a brand new show, new digs of the week, new chip chat. we got tons of stuff. The Lay Saga continues. Sriracha chips. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. That's the tease. That's a deep tease. This Sunday, that's going to be Friday, and I'm going to not eat these all week. So uh, keep tuning in, listen to this pretty music, think about your significant other, and we'll see you on Friday. Thanks for hanging out with us on the Oscar special. We appreciate you.